So I'm Caroline Rannisberger. Uh, I live on Bruni Island. I've been there for about 10 years. I've lived in various places around the world. Um, I'm more or less known uh, probably as a landscape painter, but I think landscape's fraught word. Um, I'm also a printmaker and I also work in glass and uh, a bit of installation, public art. So when I was doing my PhD in particular, um, Donald Fitzpatrick um, introduced me to French philosophy really, to Julie Deleuze in particular. Um, and Deleuze talked about, one of the things I, I took from that actually, lots of things obviously, but was this kind of idea of a tripartite dissolution so that you experience the landscape, you're in it. So the painter and the, the painted, the painting itself and the process of painting melds into one. And so it, it's less about landscape painting, it's more about experiencing it and finding a way to make that, a, you know, make that in a 2D or a 3D visual representation. So this work, so it's this really the same um, concept in a way that I've been working on for a very long time about how the landscape or the land is always in flux, it's always moving. People say, why do you make multiples? Why do you layer? It's because nothing's static, you know, and we're, um, I think as the artist I'm absorbed into that um, and when we lived in the Northern Territory, you, you, you just, you melted into the landscape sometime, you know, it, it was quite an amazing sensation. Um, so, but when um, I was getting closer to this exhibition, um, I thought about the German, some of the German literature I'd studied um, uh, when I was a student um, in the... Uh, the classics from the 1800s, 1700s, sorry, 18th century, from, say, the, the Enlightenment through to um, the later Sturm und Drang, um, the um, period, you know, during the Enlightenment, you were sort of, oh, yes, there, everything was, could be reasoned with, you know, there was, there was a logic. And then people went, oh, really? <laughs> and... And then the opposition to that, I think, was that emotion, um, that uncontrollable force. Um, and I think that fit quite well now with, um, the, I suppose, the pandemic coming in. You know, you, you can't control it. There's, there, there's these, that mayhem happens and it's completely out of control and the way our emotions respond to that and the way the, um, and I think also in terms of climate change, it's the same thing. So one of the precursors to this was thinking about climate change and how that affects us. Um, and that that's another thing we can't control, you know, and, and a lot of people even deny the science, you know, so the rational thinking doesn't always fit with, um, you know, uh, the Sturm und Drang or the emotion and the expression and the... Um, angst almost around the situations. So that's sort of what this is about.